So you want to figure out who you really are. What is that person really like? You define yourself on how you handle things in tough times, right? For me, like everybody else, if you say you haven't, then congratulations. I call you a fucking sociopath. I've gone through hard times. Shit's happened. Some I didn't cause, some I did cause. And it was hard times for me. And everything I did in that hard time shows you who I am. Just like you, whether it's business or personal, what does he or she do? What everybody wants to know is what's gonna happen when things don't go right for that guy or girl. Says people in business all the time. Something happens, they're like, man, this really sucks. I go, you know what though? You have the opportunity to show us all what you're made of because you've had an unbelievable run in the business for a year, year and a half, two years. Everything seems to have gone your way. And now all of a sudden, boom, something happened. How are you gonna respond? Everybody's a tough guy when you're on top. Everybody runs their mouth when they're up by 25 points. That's easy. Because you're up by 25 points with four minutes left. But you weren't saying that if it was a tie game at the end of the first quarter. If you were the entire time, I respect you. But how do you react when it gets bad? On some level, you need to have very unbelievable expectations. Somebody very important to me said to me the other day, you have very unrealistic expectations. And they said, professionally, that can be very good. And personally, it can be very bad. I was like, you're right. In business, in your life, you got to know who you are, personally, what you can and can't do. I'll work on that, right? You have to know. Professionally, you have to decide if you see it getting really bad and the average person says it can't be done. Now, if there's any chance it can be done, if it's like, hey, dude, you're gonna run a you're gonna run the forty against Tyree Kill. Well, Tyree Kill just ran some track race and beat a bunch of bunch of guys that that's what they do. They run professionally. They're professional runners, and he smoked them all. So I, I ain't gonna beat Tyree Kill in a, in a race, no matter how excited I am or how unrealistic I am, or if I go, dude, I can beat him no matter what. There's zero chance because that requires some kind of innate talent. He's one of the fastest men on the entire planet, so I'm not gonna beat him in a race, right? But you have to understand that if whatever we're talking about is actually achievable. Somebody has to achieve it. Somebody. And a lot of times what happens is you look around and you're like, he's done. She's done. They're not working anymore. Like they've convinced themselves they can't do this. What if I convince myself I can? And when it gets really bad for you, you have to live in truth. Believe me, I love that you have to live in that. You have to acknowledge that it sucks, right? And decide I'm going to fix it. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to fix it. No matter what it is, that's how your character is defined. None of us are perfect. Some are more messed up, but I know I'm all kinds of messed up. Believe me. We all have shit we go through. It's how do you react to it? I was reading this in a book one day. The guy didn't want to go back into battle. And his peers said, dude, we all feel exactly the same way you feel right now. That's pretty much like, like dude, we get it. Like, we totally get where you feel, how you feel. We get it. It's tough. We're outnumbered. We're outmanned. We get how you feel. I get how you feel. We all feel the same way. But you know what? Like, this is the shit we signed up for, and we got to do it. And the only thing that matters is not how you feel or you felt two minutes ago or five minutes ago. It's what do you do? As of right now, what do you do? Because you don't have any regret on what to live in for how you felt. The regret comes from you not going ahead and doing what you got to do. So for me, when somebody's telling me about their business plan, I, I want to know about their business plan. I want to know how much sense it makes or doesn't or what they need from me, what the downside is for me, what's the worst case scenario, what kind of business it is. Do I need to be educated more on the business itself? Do I not know that arena? Do I need to call somebody I know that knows more about it than me? I think about all those things. They go through my mind, right? But at the end of the day, I'm looking at the person, obviously, and I'm all about the success they've had, but dude, give me somebody that's not failed, fallen down, bumped in their face, got punched in the face, had some shit happen to them. It doesn't mean I'm not going to be in business with them, but either two things, either they've never really been through something, which is weird because they've avoided it their whole life. Because unless you, if you've gone your entire life and gotten to be an adult and had no shit happen, that means you've avoided it the entire time. I don't mean it has to be the worst thing in the world or it has happened and you won't tell me about it. 
which is actually worse because I'm like, don't want to be busy with you. What are you going to tell me? Are you gonna, like the, the company's falling apart? And you're going to tell me anything? Like you're going to always act like things are good even if they're not. Like there's a point. I'm all about like let's kill it no matter what. But there's going to be a point going like, dude, we can't make the payroll or look at this return in this investment. We can't give them more money. Like there's got to be some kind of that shit. There's got to be there, right? So for me, I want to know what have you done when it got bad. Walk me through that. You know, when I opened up my very first, like, I'm my own real, I own a bunch of companies, but I mean some with thousands of people, hundreds of employees, you know, and immediately dealt with litigation, I knew right after I got sued, that shit didn't bother me. Like, I just knew it didn't. And everybody around me, I was like, dude, who cares? Like, we we're only going to control, I didn't perseverate about it, stay up at night, I didn't think about it. When I first bought real estate and the first people stopped paying, and then I had to go into eviction, I, I, it wasn't going to cost me any sleep. When, I, when people would call me and talk shit, I'd be angry. And maybe the guys I want to go and punch them in the face, I didn't. But I knew I was fine. The first time I bought a lot, went to subdivision, fell apart, lost all the money. The entire town came and filed a petition against me because they were so upset about this little piece of property being developed. And I sat in the meeting like a burn in my stomach. I was like, you know what, though? As much as it pissed me off, and I guess I was uncomfortable a little bit, maybe nervous. I don't give a fuck. Like, that's how you define yourself. The hard times you go through... And what you do or don't do in those times, that's right now. What you do going forward right now is what matters. So that's how you define somebody's character. When they're getting knocked around, how do they respond? Share this, like, comment, please. I always appreciate your time.